Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Diana and I am an international flight attendant. So when I first moved to New Zealand, it was very, very important that I save. So I've had this little bad boy for two years and I've been adding dollars to it ever since. In today's video, I am going to be opening up this piggy bank. Listen to it. So there's not a lot of room and because there's a lot of notes in here, I, I wasn't able to add any more in. So I've got more that I wanted to add into this, but since I'm opening today, there's no point and also it doesn't fit. So the reason I started it was because I was making pennies. I had watched a video online. Advice was with every pay that you get, take out $100 and only use that $100 and everything else put into savings. And then after a, after a pay cycle, all the change that you have left over, put it in your little piggy bank. I did not follow that very well, but that's fine. I still started to put money away. And then when I got this job in aviation, they've got this thing called an allowance. So every time you go into another port, they'll give you cash. I won't go too much into that. So every time I go overseas and I bring back a big note, I'll put it in here. I usually collect the coins and then I'll, I'll sticky tape together like a dollar so that when I'm in a foreign country, instead of trying to find all the little coins because I'm blind, or I don't even want to use my big notes. I want to use up all my coins. I'll try to organize my coins so that I use them first and then all my big notes are in here and then the best place to exchange my notes is Singapore so that's what I'm gonna do so I'm not posting this video up until that money is in my account so the way that I am going to be counting this up is I'm going to open it up take it out divide it into currencies I'll write down everything that I have and then I'll use an app online to just like count it for me. We'll see how it goes. So the first thing that I'm going to do is open it up and I don't really use can openers. So give me a second while I try to figure it out. Should I, I should probably get that. So right now that's what it looks like. Let's open that up. Oh, looking good. Look at that. This is actually really exciting. This is exciting. Do you know what I'm gonna start with? I'm gonna start with the notes because they seem easier to manage. Go Australia, I'm gonna put Australia over here. I'm gonna collect all the Australian dollars. New Zealand and Australia look, kind of look similar, so I need to make sure that they're separate. I'm not gonna lie, as much as this is, I did think that I had more in here. I don't know why I didn't fit. It looks, it's, this looks so small in comparison to how big this is. I'm gonna put New Zealand over here. Who's this? Singapore, 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 Hong Kong, Hong Kong, Hong Kong can go over there. I'll be going to Singapore soon, so I'll exchange my money when I get there. So you would have just seen my video before how there is a bit of a slump when it comes to aviation. So I don't know if currency is going to start going down, if there's going to be a shift in the worth of Australian or New Zealand dollars. I must have done a lot of American trips. I think most of my money is just American. Well, Australian and American. All right. Time for coins. Take a guess of what everything turns out to be. I'm going to count one by one. I'm going to start with the smallest amount of notes and then work my way up to the Australian dollars. My prediction for this was $10,000. So let's see what it ends up being, shall we? Okay, so it's been many hours later. Well, not really, it's been probably like an hour. Um, so I counted the rest of the money and I added it up off screen. So now I just want to give you a bit of a 
short rundown of what I have managed to accomplish. So I'm gonna have my calculator open on one side and I'm going to tell you what I've had. So, so for Hong Kong dollars, it ended up being $1,211.50, which translates to 256.6 Australian dollars. Then for Singapore dollars, we ended up having 470.60, which totaled to $544. Next is New Zealand dollars. It ended up being $117.85, which ends up being uh, 116.85. The next we had yen, we had $60,000, which translates to $928.4. And in US dollars, we ended up having $1,395, which translates to Australian dollars for 2,294.63. Then we counted up the Australian dollars and that totaled up to 3,080.45 dollars. In Chilean dollars, I have 440,000, which, which translates to 827.94. So I, which means I have saved up in total $8,048 dollars. This is really exciting news. However, I wouldn't, I'm not gonna pretend that I'm not disappointed because I rarely wanted to have the 10,000. But beggars can't be choosers. This is just what it is. So I am going to be putting this into my bank. So probably asking, am I gonna do this again? Absolutely not, because you now know that, I, that I've had a piggy bank. If you know, you are going to steal that from me. And I'm not dumb enough to do this again. I'm not dumb enough to post this without having it securely in my bank. Although, now that you know I have money, I'm going to ask all my friends don't ask me for any because I don't have any. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you want to see more flight attendant related content. Thanks so much. See you later. Thanks. Bye.